hey guys welcome back to youtube channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 20,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting keep sharing and please uh, keep supporting us also motivate me by giving me stuff to react to so just head down to our comment section and suggest anything that you guys want me to react to and i'll be more than glad to react to it you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to a dr zaki naik video talking about amit did that and how he died so without wasting time let's get into the video many christians allege that sheikh ahmed didad got a disease that affected his tongue because he lied about the gospel such allegations make me really upset kindly advise how to respond to such claim to tell you that sheikh didad there was it is wrong to say disease affecting the tongue Sheikh Didad, may Allah grant him Jannah, Rahimullah, may Allah have mercy on him. He had a stroke in 1996 and he was paralyzed from below the face downwards. He was paralyzed, he could not move. To say that Allah gave this as a punishment because he spoke against, uh, against, the, against the gospel or he lied against the gospel, is not true and as I mentioned in my early answer that calamity or any disease it may either be a punishment or it may be a test how do you realize that whether any calamity is a test or a punishment if the person is on the straight path then that calamity is a test and Allah wants to test that servant of his that if I increase the calamity will the person yet have faith in me or not and if the person, even after a calamity befalls him or her, yet the faith is strong, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a higher reward and Allah will grant him a higher status in Jannah. So Allah tests his servant. That's the reason a beloved Prophet said, the maximum difficulties among the human beings are put on the Ambiyas, on the Prophets, on the Messengers of Allah. Because they are the highest caliber. So compared to the other human beings, all the Ambiyas, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent 124,000 prophets on the face of the earth. All these prophets were tested much more than a normal human being. That means they will get a much higher status in Jannah than the other human beings. If it's a punishment, then it is for those people who have committed a sin. So if a person has sinned and has gone against the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that calamity is a punishment. And you come to know that in the punishment, the person suffers. Whereas in a person, if it's a test, the person who is on the straight path, his iman increases. And as far as Sheikh Dida is concerned, Alhamdulillah, I knew him very closely. I was one of the first few people that when he got the stroke, I had just performed my hajj. And I flew from uh, Saudi Arabia straight to South Africa and, and Alhamdulillah, I personally met him even though he had the stroke, even though he could not move, he could not speak, he used to converse through the blinking of his eyes. There was a chart that was kept behind him which had one, two, three, four, five rows. Each row had A, B, C, D, first row, then second row, F, G, H, I and this way if you have to converse, which are one, two, so he's to blink. That means he the first he wants to choose a letter from second row. Then from second row we start. F G H I. So I so, so he blinks an I. So then I. So in this way, he could convey his message by spelling it out. And once you get used to it, you can do it very fast. So he used to converse even by the blinking of his eyes. And I know that even on bed, when he could not move, when he could not speak, he had the dawah. There were, there were Christians who came to meet him, there were Christian missionaries who came to meet him, non-Muslims. And through dawah, he was even able to revert some of the non-Muslims. Alhamdulillah. He wrote long messages. 
and he even encouraged me and he even he even dictated a message on the plaque the the best award that i've got from anyone or the best plaque is the plaque given by sheikh ahmed dida to me in the year 2000 in which he dictated the message that son what you have done in 4 years had taken me 40 years to accomplish alhamdulillah so this he dictated with his eyes even though he could not speak and that plaque really mashallah gave a lot of encouragement to me and and if there is a person who is responsible who is a catalyst for me to change from a doctor of a body to doctor of a soul it is sheikh ahmed dinad and inshallah even he will get all the sawab that whatever little bit i've done in the field of dawa may he get the sawab without reducing my sawab so alhamdulillah sheikh ahmed dinad was for 9 and 1/2 years on the bed he could not move but yet you could see his passion you could see his uh, his his striving for dawa so according to me if you see the striving you see the passion there was no remorse in his in in him that you know what he did was wrong he continued his dawa this means allah subhanahu wa taala according to me wanted to give a higher status to sheikh didad he 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 got the stroke in uh 1996 at age when he was 78 years old and he was in bed for 9 years allah tested him and i believe sheikh didad alhamdulillah passed the test with flying colors and inshallah allah will reward him a higher status uh, first of all we have to learn to actually respect the dead i mean uh, where do people come up with such strange Of course rumors are always going to be there on the how someone died people are going to speculate but then at the end of the day it all comes down to are you actually speaking to a family member or someone that was actually there and do you think they're actually giving you all the information I mean rumors for us to start rumors is only human beings being humans you know and we're just going to want to start something to fill the void because we don't know the specifications of how something took place and the like so am um, i shocked that there's all these things going on these things of am i shocked that people are talking about maybe he was god did something to his tongue i mean uh especially people in the religious field they try to relate certain things to god sometimes it's just life taking its course you can't expect everyone to have the same death perhaps because someone can be deep into religion but gets into a car accident they fall somewhere and die and that's just um life So at least here we have Dr. Zakina Ik explaining to us that this is the situation and I can't believe he was actually bedridden for 9 years. Is it's it's insane. Only I mean did that knows what he was feeling in that moment. You and I haven't experienced that or not experienced in that at the moment and we wouldn't know and we can't actually speak for him. It's good to see people actually coming out and saying that's not the case. He still believed in God and he still did what was expected of him despite his situation. And that's a few a good example to many people that follow him that followed his teachings, that followed what he was trying to teach to the world. Otherwise it's just it's It's a sad thing. I'm sure the people that were actually by his bed, bedside were sad but had to be happy in that moment. I I I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to speculate. I shouldn't speculate if anything. Let me know what you guys think about the question Dr. Zakina was answering. Do you think it's fair to say such a thing or do you think the rumor started from somewhere or is it a rumor that was actually famous among many people? and what are your thoughts exactly on this video and the information that he actually gave us uh let me know if there is anything you want me to react to 
make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video